homogeneous mixture. This homogeneous mixture, you have to have a solvent, which is a major component. You need a solid and a solvent. And the solid is the main or component. And we can have different state of solutions depending on the type of solvent and solute. Energy change in the solution. Since we're looking into separation of molecules, to separate the molecules, you have to provide energy. So this is endothermic process. To separate the solvent molecule, you have to provide energy, which is mean it's an endothermic process. Every time you release energy, that will be excess. And here are the description of each of these energies. Solvent-solvent interaction, solid-solid interaction, solvent-solid interaction. Two of them are endothermic, which mean positive delta H. The solvent-solid interaction is exothermic, which is negative delta H. And we, as represented in here, the left-hand side represent the exothermic delta H of solution. As you can see, the negative is exceeding the positive. And on the right-hand side of this screen, you will see the opposite, which is basically the negative is less than the positive combined, which indicate an endothermic process. And this can be directly measured through the temperature of the solution. So you can basically predict what's happening by measuring the temperature.